I'll be discussing how to reposition intermesh parts by using the 3D gizmo. First, let's start off by selecting the IMM body parts brush, and this time I'll select the arm insert. Remember to click, hold, and drag downwards on the surface to add a new arm while scaling the mesh larger. If you were to continue holding down your cursor and drag back upwards like so, the mesh is now beginning to elongate and stretch, which is an intentional feature, however may or may not be what you want. In order to maintain a clean insert, free of any distortions or stretching, be sure to only drag downwards to scale up the mesh. And now let go of our cursor, and we have inserted the arm mesh. To access the 3D gizmo, simply click on Move, Scale, or Rotate located here at the top. By clicking any of these three options, this will enable the 3D gizmo. The Move, Scale, and Rotate options are built into the tool itself, and we are not required to select any of these other options at this time. If we were to click on the selected option here, or click on the 3D gizmo button here, this will disable the 3D gizmo and switch to a different positioning tool called the Transpose tool. This tutorial series is focused on using only the 3D gizmo with insert meshes, so if you have any other questions on how to use this tool, please visit zclassroom.com for more information on the Transpose tool. Let's re-enable the 3D gizmo by clicking on the button here and take a quick look at the 3D gizmo options. By clicking and dragging on the X, Y, and Z arrows, we can move our object along these axis lines and to rotate the object, simply click and drag on the X, Y, and Z circle options like so. To scale the mesh, we can click and drag on the individual rectangles to scale the mesh along each axis line like so, or we can scale the entire mesh uniformly without distortion by clicking and dragging on the yellow box in the center of the 3D gizmo. By clicking and dragging on any of the four gray corners here, this will allow us to move the object based only on the view of the camera. One last adjustment that will give you more control is to reposition the 3D gizmo tool itself. We can do this by simply pressing and holding Alt on the keyboard and clicking anywhere on the mesh to reposition the gizmo. For example, by Alt clicking on the shoulder, this is positioning the gizmo at the top of the shoulder and we can now rotate the arm at the shoulder joint. Using the combination of these options, we can very easily start to reposition the arm in the way that we like and now simply clear the mask and read Dynamesh to weld the surfaces together. So that covers the basics of using the 3D gizmo to position our insert meshes. In the next video, I'll be demonstrating a full example of how to build a base human character by using these methods.